Let's do a quick exercise. Click on the Y arm to orient the scene to the top view. Click on the cube in the scene gizmo to choose isometric view. Create a plane and name it ground. Create a cube and name it wall. Move the wall to the side. Let's change the scale of the wall to stretch it. Press R on the keyboard. Use the scale gizmo arm to stretch the wall. Use the other scale arm to reduce its width. Press W and use the move gizmo to position the wall to the side. Click the X arm in the orientation gizmo to see the front of the wall. Press F to fit the view. Press R and use the scale gizmo to change the height of the wall. Press W and use the move gizmo to move the wall up. Select the ground object in the hierarchy panel to see it in the scene. The ground plane is around here. Select the wall and move it down towards the ground. Go back to the top view by clicking the Y arm in the orientation gizmo. Copy the wall by selecting the game object and pressing Ctrl and D to duplicate it. Repeat to make one more copy. Move one duplicate to the side. Select the other wall. Click E on the keyboard and use the rotation gizmo to rotate it 90 degrees. Use the inspector to insert an accurate value for the rotation, 90 degrees. Press W and move the wall up using the move gizmo. Duplicate the wall in the hierarchy panel using Ctrl and D. Move the new copy down. Make a duplicate of the wall in the hierarchy. Click the orientation cone in the bottom to change the view. Change the object scale on the Z axis. Adjust the scale so that the Y value matches the Z value. Rotate the object in the scene. Adjust the value in the inspector to a clean value of minus 45. Move the object up. In the future, we will learn more efficient ways to modify elements, but for now, these simple steps will do. Use Alt and left mouse to orbit in the 3D view. Move the object a bit outside on the Z axis. In the project panel, under the asset folder, create a new folder. Name it Materials. Right click, Create, Material. Name it Gray. Change the albedo color to gray. Duplicate the material by selecting it and pressing Ctrl and D. Name the duplicate orange. Change the albedo color to orange. Assign the gray material to the ground object. Assign the orange material to the walls. Well done! Use your imagination to create other things and share your results in the comments.